welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, what I want to do today is to get started on installing some of the experimental stuff. So let's see. Let's get some redstone stuff. Yeah, and that ought to be enough of that. Let's see. Yeah, I am going to need, let's see, oh, I haven't made one of these in forever, uh, oh, come on. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Isn't it this? Yeah. Note blocks. Okay. There we go. That ought to be enough to start with. All right. So, one of the suggestions for experimentation has to do with uh, the subject's tolerance for sound. Particularly, we're talking about sound that repeats kind of at random over a long period of time. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, all right. So, random sounds repeating at random over a long period of time. Hopefully not in a predictable pattern. So, I'm going to get this room dug out, and I'll be Okay, back. this should be a large enough work area, I hope. All right, I've got three of these note blocks, so how about, let's see, pop one here, and here, and another one right there. And that's right at the sleeping quarters of whomever gets this apartment. And let's see... A couple of pressure plates because and who knows maybe just one will be sufficient the idea being to have a pressure plate system say let's put it over here and it gets surrounded with glass well, glass on three sides, come to think of it. I know. No, I got the red zone signal from underneath of it, right? Yeah. So I take, pull a redstone signal out of here. Make sure this is actually doing what I think it will. Yes, it does. All right. So, and actually come to think of it, this is not going to be good enough. All right. Pick the glass back up. Something like this, I think, might be better. Yeah. And then we go ahead and make it two blocks high.
And what I'll do is to run this, what I'll do is I'll uh, set a chicken loose in here. Chicken walking around randomly, and whenever it walks on the pressure plate, that's when it activates. So now I just need to run the signal over here to these note blocks. I don't know. I'm not. I don't remember how to get the higher pitch sounds. I think it's got to do with what the block is that the note block is sitting on, but. It's been too long since I've messed with them. So let's see. If I just run the signal straight in by way of repeaters, and maybe I can have a repeater here to delay it, delay that one. That way they're not all hitting on at the exact same time. And pop a repeater here. Oh crap, I'm out of repeaters. All right, I'm gonna grab another couple of them. I wanna delay one of those signals a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, uh, the idea here is that they don't always go right up at the same time, so drop another one here. Long delays there. Let's make that one a short delay, and that one's that, and that one can be no delay. Yeah. All right. And then we just run this over here, like so. Totally spitballing here. What I would like to do with the note blocks is to have a higher pitched note. But I'm not, I don't know enough about note blocks. I've never really used them very much at all. All right, and a repeater here just for signal strength. All right, throw that down. All right, it seems to work. The thing is, though, doing it like this kind of... Uh, not too much in the way of random because well I don't know I was thinking that it might be an idea to have another circuit in here with another randomizer chicken for the purpose of randomly cutting off the signal and blocking it so that it doesn't happen when it ordinarily would but you know really thinking about it if the chicken's walking over the pressure plate is the source of the signal, then uh, it really shouldn't be a problem. Oh, come on, stop that. All right. So, let's see. glass plenty of space there for it to walk around and do its thing yeah all 
and I don't need to have glass everywhere. I do want something in the corners because I don't want them glitching out of the corners. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, come on. And then put one here when I've got the chicken in place. All right, so there's that. And whenever the chicken walks on the pressure plate, these three are going to fire up. These three note blocks. What I need, though, is what do you put the note blocks on to get a higher pitch? Because obviously stone is not getting any kind of a high pitch. It's getting kind of low pitch. But different materials give different results. Well, I have a little bit of different material here. Let's see what we get with the cobble. Not a whole lot different. All right, wood. That's a little better. I wish there was a better way to set these things. You know, like if it had a GUI and you could set what note you wanted it to play. Oh, for crying out loud. Something like that. So then when the chicken walks on there, three notes get played. And because it's a chicken walking on the pressure plate, that's going to be like totally random. And completely impossible for anybody to predict when it's going to happen. But it's going to be randomly happening 24-7. And most importantly while whoever is in the bed trying to sleep they're going to hear random note block sounds happening at random and so that they never know when it's going to happen you never know when you're going to be able to get any rest so it's a kind of uh, sleep deprivation sort of thing let's see Let me grab a few eggs At some point, I probably need to do something with that cow farm, too. So, yeah. Go ahead and get some eggs in there. Get this thing actually operational and close it off. And give it a little bit of a test to see how effective it might possibly be. And, oh, yeah, uh, another question that somebody had, oh, hey, how about that, first try, was that, uh, you know, how do the vault dwellers go to the bathroom? Because we don't seem to have any of those in any of the apartments. And, you know, my first thought was, well, maybe there's a drain in the floor. Or we could go ahead and install sinks and, <laughs> you know, uh, sort of weirdness is like, chicken, why are you not walking around? You're just sitting there on the pressure plate.
Uh-huh. Now, if this circuit activated some kind of a pulse thing, some kind of a pulsar circuit, to where as long as the chicken stood on the pressure plate, it would continue pulsing the sound. Hmm, that might be worth exploring, too. Given that this sucker seems to want to stand on the pressure plate, and it will not walk around. You know, what's that all about? I mean, seriously. These guys wander all over the place randomly, except when you want them to. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So maybe I have this come over here, and it feeds into a... A pulse generator. Some kind of a clock circuit. It activates a clock of some kind. And then the clock is sending out regular pulses, which are going out to the three note blocks. And then, of course, the phone's going to ring. Oh, uh, you got to love automated phone calls. Well, actually, no. But, yeah. Let's see. Might need a little more room for this. I'm going to try putting together a little bit of an old style clock. Let's see. Some redstone torches. All right. So if I throw this here and that and that, and throw another one over here and another one there. like this. Ah, uh, that might need to move. It's been a long time since I built one of these. So, excuse me if I'm stumbling here. <laughs> uh, it happens. No, that's not right. All right. Okay, so... No, it's got to point into the block. redstone has to point into the block for it to do what I want, so bring it up here, then put the block. Then put the torch. Redstone, another block, another torch, redstone, block, a torch there, And yes, this is probably sloppy and bigger than it has to be and klutzy and 17 different kinds of wrong. I don't care. As long as it works, that's all I care about. Okay. There, into the block. Torch here. Redstone here. This...
Um, what the f? Oh. There's the clock circuit. That sucker hasn't moved off of that plate yet. All right. Now out of here from the clock, we'll draw the redstone and set it down there. Okay. And if he ever moves off of the pressure plate, that will stop. Why it's not moving, I don't know. Maybe it needs to grow up, I don't know. So, yeah. And ye old five clock, it's got enough action for what I want, and it's not like super fast, like uh, a couple of repeaters together, or the, the uh, comparator clocks and stuff like that that run a whole lot faster. Ye old fashioned original five clock, it, it do just exactly what I need it to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's no big deal now, but imagine you spend, say, 210 years in this vault, or your entire life, or several generations, you know, you're in this vault for possibly your whole life, possibly for a whole generation, maybe for 210 years, whatever, and you get to listen to this every time a chicken steps on a pressure plate or every time a randomizer activates we'll just call this a randomizer that's not a chicken it's a randomizer so every time the randomizer activates the tune starts up this little three note tune that is bound to drive somebody completely bat crazy in some as yet unknown amount of time but we'll know because we'll be watching vault -Tec knows all <laughs> And what we don't know, we find out by experimentation. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.